So the coach mentioned that um, you were a little frustrated last week that you didn't throw the touchdown passes, but today you come out and get four. And, and uh, how did it feel? Um, I wouldn't say uh, more frustrated. I think that I didn't throw touchdowns, but I think it was more so uh, myself. Like I miss opportunities out there, like with throws and, and the ball placement stuff like that. By the end of it. It's hard to win a football game in college football, so that's the biggest goal um, for us as a team. Um, but today, you know, it was more so, um, I feel like we made most of our opportunities count, um, not just myself, but us as an uh, offense, you know, with our O-line, receivers, running backs, tight ends. And um, yeah, we won the game, so that's the biggest thing. When you're out there and it's just like completion, 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 like, do you start to feel yourself get into a rhythm? And like, what's going through your head when, when the offense is working? So um, I think that's the biggest thing um, with more so the passing game, just getting in the rhythm. Um, also, when you can be balanced, you know what I mean, with uh, running the ball and uh, throwing the ball, I think uh, that's the biggest thing um, for our offense, you know, with matriculating the ball down the field. <laughs> so I think that's the biggest thing. So at one point, you were 20 for 21, 305 yards. Have you ever played a game where you were that hot? Um, well, I think that's just a testament to our uh, whole offense, you know, with our O-line blocking, um, you know, having time and our receivers catching. Um, I think they caught everything today. So, uh, I, you know, I think us just working together as a team. Um, obviously, I get the credit for it, but I think, you know, the O-line, everyone, they do a great job. It's okay for you to get the credit, get the blame when it doesn't work, so it balances out. Hey. You came in for a fourth down play? That was how much fun was that to just pop in for one play? Um, yeah, that was a play we uh, we worked on a lot, and um, it was good to see you know Leon get in, you know, get a catch and stuff like that. But um, you know, whatever team asks, you know, you gotta step in and be ready. So, what, what exactly happened when you were actually said you were cramping? What what happened when you? Yeah, uh, I know it wasn't no sun, but it was humid like, out there. And, um, throughout the drive, I was cramping my right calf, and then I had to run the ball, so you know how that goes. <laughs> it's, everything just locked up, so happy I got in the end zone before I did. So. How do you feel now? I feel good. Okay. Yeah, I got the yes. yeah, uh, water all in me. <laughs> how impressed were you with the performance of Jacob Copeland today? Um, yeah, I was, I was um, happy about him, uh, you know, with him scoring and him then, uh, you know, running his routes and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm surprised. You know, we see what we see in practice and stuff like that. And um, I think it's good for him to have, uh, you know, good game reps at it. And um, I'm sure it gives him a lot of confidence. You know, going into week three against a good SMU team. So, Just really happen. happy. Uh, a lot of things went right on offense today, but what's the one big positive that you can kind of carry into next week when you see a little step up in competition with SMU? Um. Well. You know, I always, you know, you always remember the bad, more, more of the bad. Um, you know, the interception. You know, those are things like Coach said. He felt like we got a little, uh, you know, like relaxed a little bit, like casual. Um, and, you know, things like that. We can't, we can't really do that. Uh, Charlotte, there is a really good team, and um, you know, we came out executed, it, and I think it had a lot to do with our preparation. So, just gotta continue prepare good. Does having an offensive performance like this? I think uh, coach always talks about you know you see the difference of a team from like game one to two or like the first couple games and um, I think with the way our team is going I think we're in the right direction um, like I said we just got a coach talks about six seconds you know that's like the average play time of a play so we just got to lock in for six seconds on whatever we have to do um, as a team everyone just locking on their job and after that six seconds is gone you know it's gone so I think it gives us a lot of confidence, so we just got to continue to prepare. Prepare. We'll go, we'll go to Charlotte on Zoom. Hey there, Leah. When I talked to you a few weeks ago um, and I asked you what you really wanted out of this season, you said you wanted to have more fun this year. So when you look at the scoreboard after a day like this, after a game like this, are you having fun yet? Uh, yeah, it's still, it's still early, and um, but at the same time, you know, we want to focus on one game at a time. And um, I think today we had a lot of fun, you know, on all three phases of the ball. And um, 
yeah, we're gonna enjoy this one for 24 hours and then come back on on, Saturday, on Monday, you know, ready to prepare for a great team in SMU. Thanks, man.